Hey guys, I'm Chris. And I'm Nils. And this is, and we're back with your gearheads. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm Nils. And we're Backcountry Gearheads. Today we're here to run you through the Cottonwoods kit from Backcountry, our longest standing kit in the lineup that Nils, one of our snowboard athletes here, has helped develop over the years. Nils. Yep. Dive totally. into it, dude. Yeah, so I love this kit. It's been really cool to work with the design team over the last couple of seasons to keep refining it. One of the key things is that it comes with Gore-Tex Performance, kind of just a really nice platform to build off of. I mean, this thing is, although not your like highest performance item, I've loved it as a daily driver. I snowmobile in it, I hike in it, I ride the resort, park, kind of just everything. It's It's been a really good all around outfit and I'm psyched to dive into some of the features. This fabric is kind of the first thing you'll notice when you get in this kit. It's durable yet comfortable. Mm -hmm. I find that it breaks in with time and only gets more easy to wear and user friendly. Um, one of the things you'll notice, it's a little bit of a square fit but is super great for layering, and the fit is one of my favorite things about this kit. Each year we have awesome colors with this kit, and I think that's one thing that, that it kind of stands out. Yeah, um, totally. People love the color of this kit. Yeah, exactly. This hood not only fits over a helmet with little issues, it also has a, a cinch tab in the back to make sure it really snugs up against your fit, and it also comes with these side cinches that help draw in the hood around your, your face and your goggles. Getting into the cuff uh, of the jacket, it's really nice because it has this fleece lining and it just sort of sits snugly right at the base of your face. Even yeah. if you have the hood on or off, that's probably one of my more favorite features of this jacket is like the, the fleece lining because it's, it's just a nicer, softer material on your face. Also newly designed for this year, we've always had pretty bulky zippers, but even bigger zipper tabs and pulls mm -hmm. um, with these weather seam zippers to kind of allow you to operate the zipper with easy yeah. functionality, whether you've got big mittens on in the backcountry or you're snowmobiling with some thicker gloves. Yeah, totally. Now, maybe one of my more favorite features of this jacket are the front chest pockets. These are both pretty robust and large pockets, you can see that they sort of have quite a bit of volume to each pocket. And what's cool about the left one on the chest is that it actually has this like inlaid padding. What that does is provide like an extra layer of insulation and kind of protection if you have something like a cell phone in there. It helps keep it uh, a little more resistant to the weather outside. Or you don't get a frozen cliff bar, which might break a tooth. Exactly. Yeah. That's an expensive bill. Something else that also comes in all of the Cottonwoods jackets is your goggle wipe. This thing's pretty cool because it just unclips. And I find myself using it all the time to keep my lenses nice and clear. With Gore-Tex Performance exterior and the breathability that comes with it. Say you're moving uphill in the skin track, you also have some awesome zipper pulled pit vents here yep. um, to kind of dump heat. You've got your kind of classic front pockets here that are angled as opposed to vertical entry on the Cardiac kit. Yep. Uh, this is a bit more traditional here. You know, oftentimes if you're in the parking lot at the end of the day or something like that, you don't want to have your gloves on. And it has been oddly satisfying to have just traditional side pocket access. And that's it's been something that I've, I've grown to really enjoy about this jacket. These gaiters also have a thumb hole, which are really convenient if you do wear your gloves underneath your cuff. It yep. uh, just kind of adds that extra layer of um, prevention from the elements. And then you've got your kind of pass pocket over here, which is just big enough to fit a pass. Yep. Now getting into the internals of the jacket. What I like about this one is that it does have a removable powder skirt. Um, sometimes you don't always need the powder skirt, such as a spring day at the ski resort. And it's a convenience to be able to take it off reduce that extra material, ditch a little bit of weight, and not have to worry about it. Yeah, I find if I'm wearing these bibs as a bib and not as a pant, as you can see, they're kind of adjustable. I don't really need the powder skirt in there. Uh, the bib does a good enough job of keeping snow out of you. Yep, totally. Also, a quick shout out is that there is also two pockets, um, one on each side. The pocket on the right side is this larger mesh pocket, pretty deep, and you're able to put something, you know, like, again, your gloves, your goggles, maybe a snack in there, various items. And it's nice because it's mesh so you can kind of see through it, there's easy access, as opposed to the pocket on the left side, which is a little bit more secure. Yeah, this one's great for a cell phone, maybe a wallet, something a little bit more of value that you want to keep secured with a zipper. Excited to see kind of the development 
that Nils has been a part of making with the team over the years. I'd say the staple of this kit too is also the bibs. So let's dive into those, Nils. Yep. You know, so the first thing you're gonna notice with the bibs that's pretty unique to the Cottonwoods is that this junction of zippers we have going on here. Now, what you can do is either run them as bibs or this top section does zipper off and you are left with a snow pants, essentially, and you can wear them just as snow pants. If you do run them as snow pants, we've got this nice adjustable kind of clasp on the side that mm -hmm. has some super strong Velcro yep. to kind of tighten it down, yep. or there are loops for a traditional belt. I really like kind of running these in the springtime with a hoodie on and putting a stretchy belt in there. Um, yeah. You know, if you don't want all the weight of or kind of like added insulation of a bib. Yeah, Because exactly. these bibs are pretty tall. Yeah, getting into the pockets up top, the right side just has your traditional zipper pocket that is really deep. Um, it's probably at least like a two or three liter pocket. It kind of wraps quite a far ways around. Mm -hmm. And then on the left side, maybe one of my favorite features is the mesh pocket inside the bibs. And this thing is, is huge. It's huge. Yeah. You know, you're saying that you use them to put your skins in. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like them for skins. I also like them um, when I'm in the backcountry and I'm touring, I like to bring a beanie. Um, whether I'm digging a pit and don't want kind of the bulkiness of my helmet and goggle out there, um, or we're kind of out there sessioning some laps that are a bit mellower and underneath um, that 30 degree slope mark and just kind of doing some party laps out of avalanche train with the dog, throw the dog leash in there, throw a sandwich or PB and J in there. Yeah. Um, it's got a, a bit of a tighter elastic closure at the top. So there's no Velcro like the cardiac kit, but it's still very kind of secure and tight yeah. in there. The other thing is, is you've got these super easy adjustable kind of um, straps. elastic straps that are removable. Um, whether you just want to kind of take those off to get the bibs on a little easier. Um, those are there for you. Yeah, again, pretty cool feature being able just to kind of ditch them with these little hooks and then throw them back on. Moving on to this double button feature here, it keeps the zipper nice and secure on the front of these if they're in the snow pant or the bib mm -hmm. kind of design. Yep, totally. And um, you know, another thing that uh, I've really liked over the last couple of years that keeps getting improved is the thigh pockets have kind of move from lower down on the knee to upper sections of the thigh. And this is really nice if you have something like a cell phone or maybe a GoPro or whatever, your wallet. You don't have any items down by your knees, which is just like a, a hinge point and you don't want any items clacking around in there. So the security that the higher pockets now offer has been really beneficial for me. One of the smart designs you'll see kind of throughout the kit, jacket and bibs, is any zipper that's on the exterior and not covered is weather sealed and that prevents the elements from getting in. Those zippers tend to be a little bit more difficult to use and zip until they break in. So we have those kind of enlarged poles there for easy access with gloves. Yes. But then zippers on the inside that aren't kind of out in the elements are not weather sealed or taped as they call it. Mm -hmm. um, this allows really easy functionality for yep. those zippers that you're using more frequently. Yeah, good ease of use. Now moving on to the leg vents. These bibs have internal leg vents that again, offer a quick and convenient way to ditch some heat, especially if it's a hotter spring day and you're skiing and riding at the resort or you find yourself, you know, if I'm like hiking a backcountry jump or something like that and I, I'm just like getting warm and I need to try cool off, like it's a, it's a really convenient way to uh, chill out. This comes in men's and women's as we mentioned before. The bibs on the women's have a side zip that allows for kind of easy restroom access as well. Know a lot of women that love that feature. Standard on all backcountry pieces, these come with reinforced kick patches. That way, um, you know, the cuffs aren't gonna blow out on you. Yeah, one thing I found um, also is just how durable this kit is for, for consistent years of touring. Mm -hmm. I've had a pair of these bibs that are on year three that are just kind of like black and sit in the closet and I wear them probably about a third of my season out there. Hardly any wear and tear on them. Like I said, kind of wear them as a bib or wear them just as a pair of snow pants when you're shoveling the driveway or out in the skin track in the morning yep. or on a spring day kind of yep. at the park. Last but not least, who's this kit for? You know, I would say this kit is for someone who is spending a majority of their time at the ski resort or 
finding themselves in a lot of side country access or snowmobile access terrain. Unlike the Cardiac, it's not as built out for maybe your like long touring days, but the benefit to that for me is that I like the looser fit. Um, I use it daily at the resort, a lot of inbounds, ski resort days, uh, and then also just a lot of side country days. So if I'm hiking out of bounds and I'm gonna hit like a pat down or we're building a jump for the day, I really like kind of the, the mobility of the fabric for freestyle riding. And then also if I'm spending a bunch of time on my snowmobile and I'm accessing terrain far out in the backcountry, the, the durability aspect really kind of holds up with you know, the interactions I have with a, with a machine a majority of my day. Mm -hmm. So for the all mountain rider skier that's gonna find themselves spending time at the ski resort, who's still looking to spend time in the backcountry, but might have, you know, a bit more of a, a freestyle flair to their riding. Yeah, I think it's great for people that work at resorts as well. I have mm -hmm. a, a buddy that's been wearing one of these kits for two years with over 100 days a year on it and still holding up great. So cool to see these things lasting in the elements year after year and kind of providing that reliability that we trust out of backcountry apparel. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and chatting with us about the Cottonwood kit from Backcountry, uh, one of our staples in our lineup and longest winter outdoor pieces we've been making. If you have any questions, make sure to hit us up in the comments below. Um, stay tuned, we have a bunch of videos being released uh, covering a lot of our pieces coming out. And in the meantime, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Reach out to your local gearhead with any questions, and we will see you out there. Stay safe this winter. Cheers.